Dave, excuse the pun, you are the brains behind this business and you're an engineer from school, but you helped solve a problem that has turned into your biggest success today. I did. Uh, a young lad that I know had a problem with a, a car with locking wheel nuts on and he, he asked me to make something to remove the locking wheel nut and that's where it all started really. And what did you do? I started off just, I made a little tool to, to remove them just by hand. It managed to get the, the lock nuts off the car but then it, it went all good and I see people were asking me if they could have one, they could buy one. Uh, so I went into my dad's garage, he was the old boxer blade, made, a, made some prototypes and then I rung about some companies and it grew from there. So you make a product that can help remove locking wheel nuts off cars but all different cars? All different cars, without damaging the wheel, yeah, yeah. So what's it like to work with your family? Well, as you said, we are exclusively family. Literally, my wife, father-in-law, uh, we're, we're, all, we're all related one way or another. Um, it's really good, it's, it's interesting. And where do you think your success was born? Just, I've always had an angle where I can sort of design stuff. It's just, you know, I started off in that world. I started off in a very old-fashioned sort of engineering company uh, called Fernley's Engineering, Castlewood. They actually solve problems and they, they did it old school. So they give me the grounding that, that I've got today, you know, so it's grown from there, really. And when we first looked at stars, from coming from a fixed head, uh, when you look inside the, the sliding head machines, you look inside and you walk away, you just think, I'll never do it. You know, it's just the, the chalk and cheese from a fixed head. And it's somebody making that transition. Uh, they'll look at it like I do. When you first walk in, you look at a slider, you say, no, this is, uh, oh, yeah, but yeah, you, you just, you can't see how they work somehow. They're, they're a totally different concept to uh, to this, uh, the fixed heads that we've had. So how did you make that leap? We, Star convinced us. Uh, we went around all the brands uh, and Star wore, we got confidence that they're going to be with us, uh, that, that we're not just going to buy the machine and then we'd struggle. So it's a lot of money on your first layout or when you're buying one. Uh, and Star sort of convinced us that we'll be with you, it's going to happen. Uh, and the out. You were an engineer a few years ago and essentially having these Star machines so helped to train you to be in a position where you're running all of these machines. Completely, it's a fair, it's a fair assessment. 2020 when we first made us contact with Star and from then on we made it perfectly clear that it was really my responsibility to be taking charge of the one machine initially and explained our nervousness towards me and what I've got to learn, you know, having zero experience whatsoever. And Star had just been excellent. From start to finish, anything that we needed, any help we needed, um, they were just there from the get-go. And now, fast forward, two short years, we've got five machines that I entirely look after a plethora of components that I've done the program before. It's all largely down to Star with the initial training, which was fantastic. What do you like about the machine? NC Assist programming software that Star of uh, released is really easy to use. Um, it's template based so and conversational, so just a few series of questions to answer. A lot of that's taken care of. The machines themselves are so fast because everything's close by. It's on a plan system, so everything just moves. As opposed to a turret system that has to index in from a safe place, they're just really, really fast. Beyond that, too low monitoring is a really useful feature that we appreciate because I can just determine, with the five machines we have, I can determine whether it needs any attention or not. And they'll literally just stop themselves if a drill were to break, if a tool insert were to chip, um, it'll tell you. And what does that do for you? Increase, increases productivity, reduces downtime, means I can be more productive elsewhere. I've got five machines to look after on a daily basis. I really don't need to be operating, opening the doors, stopping the actual machine running more than I need to be doing. So if I can just leave it, there's no nervousness either. If it's a new job and I set the parameter of the tool or monitoring, I can completely ensure and reliably leave it be, leave it alone until the machine tells me there's an insert gone, there's a drill broken, and we're making almost zero scrap because of that. Where would this business be from your perspective without these machines? Not where it is today. 
bottom line. It just couldn't possibly be the output. See, we've always been busy. We've always had a certain demand for our tool. We're, we're a unique company. We, uh, we literally invented the locker wheel remover tool. Um, at zero competition, it's really, really effective. Leading breakdown companies have all incorporated this tool, which has been received really well over the last 20 years. And we struggle with the demand of it, to be honest with you. The seven fixed head machines that we had did well. With various breakdowns over the years as they aged, we were just struggling to keep up with the actual demand of the tool. So as soon as we introduced the first one, and as I said, we exponentially increased our output, it was very obvious that we need more of these things to be able to create that, that demand and, and satisfy it really easily now, which is where we are. We can really keep up with any number of sales, any order uh, whatsoever. Thank you.